Today we are going to take a look at a couple of incredibly useful Wayland screenshot, screenshot editing and screen recording programs. And the most popular program combination to make basic screenshots on Wayland is Green plus Slurp. The first one is used to take the screenshots, while the second is a screen selection tool. And when used together, they provide a similar result to what MAME does on Xorg. If you just use by itself, Green will take a screenshot of your entire desktop. But you can also select a specific monitor by providing a dash O flag. On Hyperland, use a hyperctl monitors command to find out your monitor names. And on Sway, use this Sway message command. Set the dash T flag to select the file type and choose a file name with the last unnamed argument. You can set it to dash to output image into standard output, which is quite useful for piping it into other commands. Dash G flag is interesting because it lets us specify screenshots geometry. We can either write it out manually, like this, or let Slurp do it for you with this shell command substitution syntax. Now we can select a specific part of the screen with our mouse. If you then want to save your screenshot to clipboard, install the VL clipboard package and pipe the output of this command into VL copy. This is the command that you should generally use if you just want to take screenshots normally. But I get annoyed by this weird black outline that is likely caused by Slurp fading out. If you have the same problem, Let's fix it by installing Image Magic, the powerful image editing terminal tool, and piping the standard output of Grim into a convert command that will shave one pixel from each side, making our screenshots clean and borderless. That's great, but what if you want to quickly edit your screenshot, put some text on it, draw an arrow quickly, and publish it somewhere straight away, without using GIMP for example? A GTK program called Swappy is the tool that is going to help us with that. Pipe any of the previous commands into it instead of wheel copy, and right after taking a screenshot, a clean interface will appear. It has a special menu with all of the tools available, but you can also select them with intuitive key bindings, like D for brush, T for text, R for rectangle, O for ellipse because it is round, A for arrow, and D for blurring. Press on Shift plus R, G or B to select red, green or blue color, or add a custom one which you can get with a capital C key. After editing your picture, copy it to clipboard with Ctrl C or save it with Ctrl S, the usual stuff. It also has a simple configuration file, which is an amazing touch for a GUI program if you ask me. I usually include this command in my key bindings, so I can not only edit my screenshots, but also any other images that happen to be in my clipboard. But now, let me show you how two great minimal terminal tools that you can use if you don't want to install and set up entire OBS, WF Recorder and WL Screen Rack. Unfortunately, I could not get the second one to work on my machines, but they are both very similar in use and have almost the same flags. Open a terminal, begin recording just by running a command, and finish it by terminating it with Ctrl C. Let me now open it with MPV, to show you that it did in fact record everything. Both VF Recorder and VL Screen Rack can also record selected part of the screen just like with the screenshots. Same syntax, and we can also use Slurp to select it with a mouse. You can also obviously record audio by using a dash dash audio flag, and if you want to specify the name, use the dash F flag. And obviously, because it is a terminal command, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it, like delaying it with sleep, terminating it in, say, 10 seconds, and then doing some cool FFmpeg magic with it. Possibilities are endless, and I encourage you to experiment and find your own cool ways to use these programs to increase your productivity. But now, I have a small announcement. I've made a coffee page for the channel, where you can tip me if you enjoyed any of the videos and would like to support them. I told you guys about it on a Discord server, and right away I saw the first monthly donation from Hoskins, which I am super grateful for. It really inspires me to put more work into these videos and hopefully improve the quality. But once again, if any of you guys just want to chat, join our Discord server. And if you like this video, you can leave a like or a comment. I read every single one. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.